instruments that you're hearing right now were all recorded only using the iMovie app. Step one is to make a video. So for that, we'll go into our camera app and make a video of us playing the drums. So now you have a video in your phone. What you're gonna do now is go into the iMovie app. You go into the iMovie app, hit the plus sign, and it's gonna let you add media. The media you're looking for is your video. So you grab this video that you just made of the drums, and you tap it, and you add it to iMovie. How do you add another instrument? Hit the plus sign again. And what we're gonna add is a voiceover. That would let you narrate over it or whatever you wanna do over the drum video. But you're not gonna narrate, you're gonna do another instrument. So now, as a voiceover, you could play guitar, or play bass, or sing, or play piano, or whatever you wanna do over the drum video. You have to use headphones so you can hear the drum video, and then you'll play your next instrument. Once you hit voiceover, it'll give you a three second countdown. You're tracking your second instrument. In this case, we're tracking bass guitar. When that's done, you'll see that you have the voiceover as an audio stripe here at the bottom. See that? So now you can control the volume of it up and down and do a nice mix. You can mix in headphones, or if you have airplay or screen mirroring, you can watch it on your TV and mix that way so that you get the levels right. So now you've done it. You've added another track over the drums. You multi-track in iMovie. And then you save it. Save the video to your camera roll. If you wanna add another instrument, now you add this video into iMovie and do another voiceover, and it's indefinite. You can add bass, drums, guitar, piano, whatever you want. If you're not a drummer, you could do your quartet this way. You know, record the cello, record the violins, whatever you want. Here's the other cool thing about this. You don't need any microphones, okay? Your phone probably records in stereo. There are two microphones on either side of your phone. So you already have a stereo mic built into the phone. So now that you know everything's in the phone, just beware of where you're placing your phone. When I'm recording drums, I kind of place the phone over here so I can hear the bass drum and not get overwhelmed by the hi-hats and the snare. If I put the camera here, you'd mostly hear hi-hat and snare. So I'm almost simulating like an overhead room mic when I do the drums. Then you do the same thing with the bass. Uh, record the bass, use headphones. Now, if you wanna go a step further and you don't wanna just do it as a voiceover, but you wanna see the next track, like see it as a video, Step one is the same, record your first instrument. So in this case, we've recorded the drums as a video. Step two, I upload that video to YouTube as an unlisted link. So now I could view it on my television on YouTube. I could view it and hear it. And in headphones, I'll listen to these drums while I track the bass. And while I'm tracking the bass this time, I'll actually just be making a video of myself playing bass to the drums in the headphones. With the drum video as your foundation, you now add your bass video as a cutaway. That will let you cut back and forth from the bass to the drums, and it will look like two cameras shot your video. When you're finished, you'll save this video and upload this video to YouTube as well as an unlisted link. Now, you'll go to your television, use your headphones, listen to this video in headphones while you track your next instrument, which will be guitar. Mm -hmm.